Well, we've long been sounding the alarm about melting Arctic ice. It has been disappearing at a worrying rate for 30 years. We know that from satellite images. But figuring out what was happening earlier than that has confounded scientists. Now Canadian researchers have found a new way to measure it by heading deep down into the Arctic Ocean. Christina Stevens has the story. In the frigid Labrador Sea, researchers are trying to unlock the secrets of the past to better predict the future of our climate. Arctic sea ice cover has been declining very drastically in the last decades. And that's the problem. The only data scientists can rely on is the information gathered by satellites, which only goes back about 30 years. But due to what climatologists are calling a major breakthrough, that's all about to change thanks to the lowly algae. How do we get data for our models that goes back hundreds or thousands of years? We need to go to living organisms uh, that write that information into their skeleton. Coralline algae, retrieved from near freezing water, has unlocked the mysteries of the past. You see, the algae requires light to grow. So when snow-covered ice covers the water's surface in the winter, it goes dormant. Then in the summer, when there's less ice cover, the algae grows faster, calcifies and creates a crust, a rock-like layer every year, which scientists can measure much like rings on a tree. The wider the band means less ice, and by measuring the magnesium in the cell walls, they have a record of temperature, which can be read down to the week or even the day, painting a precise climate picture. So far, they've done this dating back 650 years. This is really the first time that we are able to do that. And the scientists found a startling decrease in sea ice cover over the last century and a half that has accelerated in recent decades. If we know how ice cover has changed over hundreds of years, then we are much better able to predict how it's going to evolve in the future. The sea ice cover is uh, one of the most important aspects right now in terms of global change. Currently, there are conflicting views on how long it'll be before the Arctic is sea ice free, ranging from about 20 years from now to the end of the century. The Arctic has lost about 40% of its sea ice cover since 1980. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.